On January 10, 1870, John D. Rockefeller formed the Standard Oil Co., a company that would ultimately lead to a whole lot of money being made and hundreds of rival business owners' careers being completely destroyed. Now in our day and age, if you wanted to follow in Rockefeller's footsteps, chances are your morally unethical approach to starting an oil company would be met with a heavy resistance. So today, I'll be violating workers' rights virtually on Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, a game about moving things and making money. Let's begin, shall we? We'll start off by building the Company HQ in New York City, however, we're accompanied by a few rivals. First there's Carnegie Steel, who has already set up an iron train line in Cleveland, Ohio. In Titusville, Pennsylvania, we have the Seneca Oil Company, as well as its CEO, Edwin Drake. In Washington, D.C., we have the Supreme Court. Wait, is that John G. Roberts? Well, he's not even born for another 50 years. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's start making some money. A small train line from Quaker State Oil Rigs to Cleveland Oil Refinery should get us in the green. What the f One thing that makes Open TTD so much fun are the challenges it poses. In this example, we have two options. We could build around the town with thousands of dollars of railroad, decreasing the efficiency and lowering the profit from the line, or we can ditch some moral standards for the effect of higher efficiency and a larger profit margin. Yeah, I'd go with option B too. So to get our line through, I'm gonna bomb half the town, kill 200 residents, hold the mayor hostage just to let him know I'm not f***ing around, and boom, piece of cake. Now that we have somewhat of a mainline set up, we can start the expansion of our business. The Seneca Oil Company has taken it upon themselves to start transporting oil from the Olean oil field to an oil refinery in New York City. And since the Olean oil field is one of the biggest and most profitable in the state, chances are Mr. Edwin Drake here is making more money than me. And that can't happen. I'll send him a message, maybe try to get him to move his stations. Oh, wow, real mature. I didn't think it'd have to come to this. Seneca Oil Company has been dealt with, and the Olean oil field is ours. And now that all the major hurdles are out of the way, we can really start building our oil empire. Now that my train routes are complete and the hard work is over, we can sit back, relax, and watch the money roll in. Let's check up on the competition and see how they're doing. Carnegie Steel seems to be doing fine, with a few train routes from what used to be Titusville to an iron ore mine and among other things, but the Supreme Court has just been sitting there. I don't know. Let's check their stream, see what they're up to. 